It is now 6.16. That was Amy Grant with the Mountaintop. And I would like to dedicate that song to Sir Estrada Garcia. Nagkakaalaman ng edad, Sir Estrada Garcia. Kasi nung uso yung kantang yan, feeling ko hindi pa po ako pinapanganak. Feeling ko lang. Pero alam nyo anong nakakatawa? Because as I was listening to that song, no, the, the line there that says, I'm not saying that worship is wrong because it's all that we say and everything that we do. It's letting God's spirit live through you. And alam nyo, uh, obviously that song was not part of my playlist, but ni request po ni Sir Estrada Garcia. And so, oh siya, sige, ipatugtog natin. Pero alam nyo po, ginamit din ni God ang kantang yan to tie in our short devotional for today. No? Especially yung line that says, Cause it's all that we say and everything that we do. That is worship. It's letting God's Spirit live through you. Bakit ko nasabi that amazing si God, no? Because it is the Holy Spirit working. Because our verse for today is found in Luke chapter 6, verse 45. Luke 6, 45 says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks... What the heart is full of. Lumaki ako sa King James Version, no? At uh, laging sinasabi ng tatay ko before, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Kamomens, that is what Luke 6.45 is. No? And uh, yung kanyang uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew 12.35 also says the same thing. No? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And that song from Amy Grant, na Mountaintop, is saying the same thing, no? And I think this is what God really wants you and me to baon this week sa pagsimula natin sa week na ito. Because again, as I've said, Mountaintop was not on my playlist. Actually, blessed assurance yung nilagay ko doon. But then, there is wisdom in, in changing songs, no? Because it's all that we say and everything that we do that is worship. And uh, as what our verse says, no? na kung ano yung nasa laman ng ating puso, yun yung lumalabas. Alam nyo, naalala ko lang, kasi uh, a few weeks, no, a few years ago, not weeks, nauso yung calligraphy, di ba? Kasi yung isa sa mga kasama natin here before, na si Eunice, nako, napakagaling niya talaga mag-calligraphy. Ang ganda ng handwriting, no? So, inaabuso namin si Eunice before sa kanyang mga pag merong mga cards no na kailangang isulat kasi yung aking handwriting is para akong doktor no ay ay parang kahig ng manok sabi nga nila i am a lefty no i i i write using my left hand so you can imagine how beautiful my handwriting is so si Eunice before nagkakaligrafi siya ang ganda naman talaga and meron din siyang fountain pen no but then ang ganda ng fountain pen na yon kaso lang na realize ko i just remembered now no that a fountain pen, no matter how beautiful it is, no matter how expensive that fountain pen is, it is just a pen. Magdidepende pa rin yan sa kung ano ang laman ng pen. Magdidepende din po yan sa kung sino ang nagsusulat. No, alam nyo po, when you keep on practicing calligraphy, no, gumaganda yung handwriting mo kasi nagpa-practice ka. Pero pag hindi mo siya pinapractice, Wala, no, hindi siya ganun kaganda. And then, it made me realize that, that that pen is nothing kung walang ink, kung walang laman. And that pen is nothing also kung hindi maganda ang, uh, ang handwriting nung magsusulat. No, even if you have the most expensive fountain pen, even if you have all these beautiful accessories doon sa pen na yun, pero pag pangit ang iyong handwriting, Pangit po talaga siya. And I think I can relate that to Luke 6.45. No, the same is true with people. A fountain pen, a pen with an ink is nothing. Kung hindi po maganda ang gagamit sa kanya. Ako ganda lang yung dala ko, ganda sa face, pero hindi sa ganda sa handwriting. No? And the same is true with people. When we compare a fountain pen to a person, the same is true doon sa kanilang dalawa. Sometimes we spend money para pagandahin yung ating mga sarili. No, ang binibili po natin yung mga mamahalin talaga na mga designer clothes. 
Kasi ayoko na maging mahirap. So dapat yung aking mga damit ay uh, branded. No, we spend so much time. Every week, nagpapamanicure ako, nagpapapedicure ako. Kasi dapat maganda yung aking mga daliri. No, kasi nakakahiya naman. No, alam niyo po, nakakahiya yung aking kamay, no? Hindi pa siya nakaka hindi siya ganoon kadalas nahahawakan ng uh, manicurista. No, siguro ano ba ang ginagawa mo so that ikaw ay gumanda? You look good to impress other people. I try to look good so that people are impressed. And sa totoo lang, nai-impress naman talaga sila, di ba? No? Uy, ang galing niyang manamit. Uy, alam niyo, ang ganda niya talagang mag-ayos. Alam mo, itsura pa lang, ang bango-bango niya na talaga. Pero alam mo, kamomins, physical appearance may be important sa mundo, but it is not important at all sa Panginoon. Kasi di ba, ano daw ang ginagawa natin sa buhok natin, binibraid natin siya ng gold-gold, pero... Kung karakter natin pangit, pangit pa rin po ang kalalabasan. Alam nyo, only God can make something beautiful out of someone like you and like me that is ugly from the inside out. No, sa totoo lang mga kamoments, nothing good comes out of us apart from the goodness of God. Wala tayong pwedeng ipagmalaki. No, na kahit na pinakamahal na fountain pen ang dalahin mo. Kahit na ikaw ay bumili talaga kasi mayaman ka naman, di ba? I am not saying, please do not get me wrong, I am not saying na mayaman ka, wag kang bumili ng mga branded bags, ha? Kasi bigay mo na lang sa poor yan, no? Or wag kang uh, magdamit ng mamahalin kasi ibigay mo na sa, ibigay mo na sa poor yan. I'm not saying that. No, I am not saying that. If you can afford it, buy it. If you can afford it, enjoy it. What I am trying to say is that sana wag lang pang labas ang ating pagtuunan ng pansin but what is more important is what is inside. Minsan kasi, di ba, na hindi naman tayo naliligo. One week na tayong hindi naliligo. Pero nagkukulong tayo. We can mask it, the smell, we can mask it for a time but in all honesty, lalabas at lalabas din yung mga bako natin. And alam nyo, kamomins, it is not beautiful. The good news is that the Lord does not care kung marumi ka, mabaho ka, or meron kang mga hidden na mga pilit ng tinatago. Because if you confess your sins to God, He, is, he has promised that He's going to clean you up. He's going to forgive you and remember your sins no more. The moment the Lord looks at our heart. And alam nyo, sa totoo lang, sabi nga ni Ma'am Sita Carty, action speaks louder than words. No, lagi naman nating sinasabi na, Oy, alam mo, tulungan natin si ganito ganyan, kawawa naman. Kasi alam mo, ganito pala yung nangyari sa kanya, no? Ay, nako, mag-charity tayo kasi ganito ganyan. Pero yung mga actions natin, Iba naman ang pinapakita. Alam nyo, moments. God sees everything. You're good, you're bad, and you're ugly as well. But again, as I've said, the good news is that the Lord sees our beauty if He sees the Lord Jesus Christ in us. Isang tao lamang po talaga ang susi ng lahat. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you may have broken a lot of families in the past. Siguro marami ka ng mga taong sinira because of the things that you have said. Pero alam nyo, the moment we turn our back on the world and start walking down the path towards the Lord Jesus Christ, alam nyo, that is the beginning of our new life. If you admit your mistakes, ask God to clean you up and forgive you of all your sins, He is going to release you from the bondage of sin. Outward appearance is important. Yes. Totoo yan. Huwag naman tayong, ay kasi sabi ni Ate Maggie, hindi daw importante ang panglabas. Hindi na lang ako maliligo. Hindi ko na lang aayusin ang buhay ko. Hindi po ganun. Outward appearance is important. But unless there is something good inside, walang silbi ang pagpapaganda mo. Just like that fountain pen. No matter how expensive that is. No matter how much you buy all the accessories. Para lang gumanda ang fountain pen, pwede. 
Pero pag walang laman inside, pag walang kwenta, walang kwenta pa rin po ang fountain pen apart from the one who is going to clean us from the inside out. Remember the moments that as always out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Kaya siguro this week, God is reminding us of how we should worship Him. We should worship Him, yes, in spirit and in truth. We worship Him not only with our words, but with our actions as well. Luke 6.45 says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. Stored up, nasa loob ng kanyang puso. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So ano po ang laman ng puso mo ngayon, Kamomins? I'm asking myself that as well. Ano bang laman ng puso ko? Is it majority good or majority bad? Ngayon no, na tayo ay umiinit na ang election season, ano yung mga pinopost mo sa Facebook? Ano yung mga sinasabi mo sa mga private messages ninyo? Ano yung lumalabas sa puso mo? Alam nyo, I think that is a good gauge of what is stored inside of our hearts. To love you too, it's your kindness that leads us to and with that, mga kamomits, I am going to bid you goodbye. Maraming salamat for keeping me company the past uh, hour and 30 minutes. So, ma'am Gloriosa Dumalauron, we are rejoicing with you. Nako, napakabuti ng Panginoon. Tapos na daw ang kanyang radiation. The next journey, God will continue to be faithful po sa inyo, ma'am Gloriosa. And uh, sa mga nagpray din po pala para kay uh, ate... Uh, Joey Zafra, no? uh, maraming salamat po daw sa inyo. Napakabuti ng Panginoon sa kanya, doon sa kanyang uh, mastectomy. May nakita, but it's not malignan, so tatanggalin lang yun siya para hindi siya maging cancer in the future. Napakabuti talaga ng Panginoon. And of course, uh, to Ma'am Tata Arabia, no? na nawala na daw ang ihang sakit sa kalawasa. Napakabuti talaga ng Panginoon. Sir Estrada Garcia, 1980s pa daw narinig din ni Ma'am Helen Grace Alabado ang kantang yan. So malamang ay magkaedad daw po kayo. <laughs> but anyway, mga ka-moments, yung mga kanta in the past, no? ay uh, nako napaka powerful naman talaga. Hello to you Sir Jojo man. Nami-miss na po namin kayo Sir Jojo. Ako ay natutuwa na ikaw ay nasa Casaletisha na ngayon. And we will continue to pray for your uh, mom. God willing, we are going to see each other again uh, tomorrow. To Teacher Malu will be praying for Kuya Ronnie Cabuenas as well. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Love us, no matter